Hi, everybody. If you've never used Google Hangouts Meet on your Chromebook or your laptop before, you'll need to do a couple of things to get it set up so it works properly. The first thing you need to do is be logged into your Smithfield or your school Google account. So here I am in my Smithfield Google Drive. I'm going to click on the waffle menu here. And if I scroll down, I should be able to find an icon for me. And just clicking on that icon will open it up for me. The other thing that you can always do as long as you're logged into your Smithfield or your school Google account is just open up a browser tab and just type meet.google.com and that'll also bring you right to Google Meet. So now that I'm here, to make it easier to get to, um, I may want to just create a, a quick bookmark. So the way to do that is just to right here where it shows the address in your browser is just click and hold on the lock icon and then just drag it down to your bookmark bar and let it go. And so now I have a bookmark there. So anytime I need to get to meet, just because I'm lazy slash efficient, I don't have to type anything and I don't have to go hunting for it in the waffle menu. All right, so here I am in Google Meet. The very first time I use it, I need to give it permission to access my webcam and my microphone. And the reason I need to do that is because it, obviously if you're hosting a class or a meeting, your students or the people in the meeting are gonna need to see you and hear you. So even though I'm not starting an actual meeting now, I'm going to click on the big button that says join or start a meeting. And I'm just going to give a quick nickname for my meeting. OK. And because I've never used Google Meet on this particular Chromebook before, it's going to ask me if it can have access to my microphone and camera. I'm going to click Allow. It's also going to ask me if uh, I want the site to be able to show me notifications. And I do because if any of my students or participants in the meeting send me a chat message, um, I want to be able to have a notification to know that they've done that. So again, I'm just going to click Allow. You should know that when you're not using Google Meet, um, the application doesn't have access to your camera or your microphone. So it's not like it's listening or recording you uh, when you're not using it. So once I've got all those things set up, I'm pretty much ready to go for any time I want to use Google Meet on this particular Chromebook or laptop. I hope it helps.